हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल सिविल स्मार्ट दिस इज द पार्ट टू ऑफ बॉक्स क्लवर डिज़ाइन वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन दीज ऑल मेथड्स ऑफ डिज़ाइन अप टू द लोडिंग डायग्राम नाउ वी विल फाइंड आउट द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फैक्टर फिक्स एंड मोमेंट्स मोमेंट डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन टेबल वी विल सी एंड फाइनली द मोमेंट्स एट द सेंटर एंड द डिज़ाइन कॉन्स्टेंट चेक फॉर डेप्थ एंड द स्लैब मेन इन्फोर्समेंट डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन स्टील bottom slab reinforcement and the side wall so this is the dating diagram will be calculated by this spreadsheet so we will quickly put our data in these cells again so our box culvert is 4 by 4 meter dead load or the filling load is 14 kilo meter 18 is the unit weight of the soil theta is 30 degree angle of repose 7.5 meter is the width of the 7.5 meter is the width of the road width footpath width is 1 meter 100 mm is the thickness of the bearing coat fck is 25 and fc 415 so we have put our data in these cells now you can see the calculation of component of box culvert thickness of the slab is calculated 400 mm so overall effective dimension is 4.4 meter by 4.4 meter and this is the haunch portion i have forgot to describe the haunch portion it will be actually the haunch because the pressure will be from the top slab the reaction load of the track vehicle will be and from the water pressure will be there so we need to get it haunch like trapezoidal form so to reduce the pressure so this will be actually equal to the thickness of the wall so track a vehicle loading we have calculated load calculation we have already done for the impact factor for the live load this is 25% 25 and the total load of the track vehicle is 700 kg these all given in the code so self weight is calculated filling load is calculated track vehicle impact factor we have put the load finally the length of dispersion this is the length of dispersion 4.4 meter is calculated and width of dispersion is been calculated as 5.96 this is bd width of dispersion along the width along the span length right so finally the total load on the slab is calculated 57.37 load on the side walls is calculated because it will be uvl and udl so 15.79 at the top 26.4 plus 15.79 at the bottom soil reaction i have already explained you soil reaction on the in the part 1 87.37 this is the loading diagram right so now we have to analyze this loading diagram by moment distribution method we will get it half frame that is a e f t frame we will analyze it by moment distribution method because this is the symmetrical so you can see that since the loading is symmetrical with respect to the vertical axis as shown in the figure of box culvert hence it is enough to consider the half frame this is half frame a e f d for analysis right so we have done it half frame so now the distribution factor we have joint a and joint d is there so members are ae and ad for joint a ae and ad is a member and for joint d it's da and df are the member so relative stiffness is calculated summation of k is calculated distribution factor is like this for joint a this is 0.33 and 0.67 for joint d 0.67 and 0.33 k is e e i by l e and i are the same for all members these are the nodes k equals to i by 1 by l for the members whose full length is considered for analysis that is ad for full length k is i 1 by l and for half length because we have considered the half frame so for a this is 1 by 2l right this is half of 1 by l for df and this is half of 1 by l for a Are you getting this point? For the half frame, this portion will get half, one by two L, and for this portion, this is full length, so one by L for the member whose full length is considered. So distribution factor is calculated. Fix and moments. Now you can see that for anti-clockwise, this is negative, and for clockwise, we have chosen positive. So these are the fix and moments. M F A B negative because this is anti-clockwise direction. This is in clockwise direction this mf ad this is ad mf ad and this is mf da 
this is negative because this is in anti clockwise direction this is in clockwise direction mf dc is positive this is anti clockwise direction right so direction is very much important to find out the fix and moment so mf a is formula is mf a we are calculated so this is the udl so wl square by 12 but this will be in the negative direction because this is in anti clockwise direction now you can see the value is minus 92.55 mf df df is in clockwise direction so this is also udl so udl the value of udl is 87.37 now you can see wl square by 12 so 140.95 mf ad now e, this is the wall for mf ad and the value of this loading is like trapezoidal loading so this is w1 w1 is 15.79 is w1 which is udl and w2 is 26.40 for the triangular loading right 26.40 so formula for mf ad your mf ad w1 l square by 12 plus w2 l square by 30 this is w2 l square by 30 so this is mf ad and mf da w1 l square by 12 this is an anti clockwise direction so this both will be in negative direction w1 l square by 12 because this is udl so w1 will be same 15.79 and w2 in this case will be 26.40 but l square by 20 now this is this is the formula for the fix and moments right so all by these all formulas uh, mfda mfad all these been calculated now we go for the moment distribution table joints are a and d member are a e and ad this is a e and ad ad and for joint d members are da and df these are the distribution factor already calculated right already calculated distribution factor uh, fix and moments these are the fix and moments we have put the fix and moments now balance we have to done the balance you know we all know that these two will be add up and the opposite sign these two will be add up and multiply by this one and the opposite sign will be there so these values has been calculated by distribution factor you can check by manually also so final end movements 62.71 this is in negative hogging direction that is negative and this will be in clockwise direction this will be in positive so you can see 101.10 at point t and this is also so half frame we have calculated so this will be automatically will be same so we have calculated the fixed and end movements we have calculated final end movements by this distribution table so you can check the distribution table at the manually also so this is the loading diagram we have calculated the end movements from the end movements we will calculate the bending movement at the center for which we will find out the reinforcement so for the top slab slab span a b this is the span a b bending movement at e e is the center so w l square by 8 because the udl minus mean of the end movement mean of these two movement right mean of these two movement w w is the loading 57.37 so this is the bending movement at the top similarly for the bending movement at the bottom slab this is w l square by 8 minus mean of the end movement so these are the end movements you can see these are the end movements at d and this point at c so these are the end movements so finally 110.33 and for the side walls you can see this is the bending moment w l square by 8 minus w 2 l square by 16 because this is in a uvl form minus mean of end movements these are the end movements but you can see the negative direction means the inner portion will be in tension so main reinforcement will be in the inner portion fine so move ahead side walls calculations so all all the design movements have been calculated right for the top slab bottom slab and side walls now design constant you can see from this table design constant for sigma cbc this is the value for permissible flexible compressive stress so for m25 this is 8.33 
and for sigma st steel for fe415 is 200 so 200 value so you can see the value of modular ratio k value is calculated j is calculated 1 minus k by 3 and q value is calculated 1.18 so check for depth this is the formula m equals to qbd square we are we are designing it by wsm working stress method so d required is 305 and we have provided overall depth you can see 400 mm i have chosen the 400 mm as the overall depth right initially 400 mm we have chosen now depth required coming is 305 but effective depth we have provided if you provided the overall depth is 400 mm clear cover minus 50 mm minus half of dia assumed dia so 340 is the d provided hence it is okay so we have provided axis depth in against the required depth right so it is okay now the top main slab reinforcement m is 76 so m is 76 ast required by this formula m upon sigma st jd is this much if you are choosing 20 mm dia for the main reinforcement 20 to 50 mm center to center at both faces along the short wrist span short wrist span right distribution steel ast is 800 mm ast on each face is half of this so if you are choosing 8 mm dia so 120 mm at the both face along the longer wrist now for the bottom main reinforcement m is 110 you can see 110 now if you again choose 20 mm dia you can choose according to your requirement if you are choosing 20 mm so 210 mm center to center is required for the these are the bottom main reinforcement along the span this is the shorter span and these red portion are the distribution steel along the longer span right this is the longer span and this is the shorter span for the box culvert this is the this is the elevation we are this is the elevation for the side main reinforcement we have taken as the tension in the inner portion so the main reinforcement will come at in the inner portion 20 mm 180 mm center to center so you can see for the top main reinforcement these red portion along the shorter span is the main reinforcement 20 to 50 mm center to center bottom 20 210 mm center to center these red portion and these inner portion this is inner portion is the main reinforcement 20 180 mm center to center and other dis others are distribution steel 8 mm 120 mm center to center this is the distribution steel these all dotted bars are distribution steel right and this is the haunch portion so we need to provide the haunch steel also so 20 mm bars at the 200 mm center to center at corners so this will be the haunch bars and three numbers are required at this portion this is in general right so this is the reinforcement detailing of box culvert so if you cho choose your different steel different dia of <clears throat> different width like 3 meter by 3 meter if you are choosing so you can see the loading diagram has been changed all fix and movements has been changed distribution table has been changed the bending movement top slab has been changed and finally the spacing has been changed for all the values now the distribution steel is like this so friends if you like this video if you want this extra sheet please mail me or whatsapp me